Good morning, brothers and sisters. Great to see you on, on this new day. And uh, with the new day comes new opportunities to, to, to live for the Lord, to represent Christ, to be his ambassadors. And the best way uh, to live as an ambassador is to begin your day getting marching orders from the Lord, um, getting instruction from his word. And so this morning we turn to his word together. So I'm going to ask you to take your Bible, turn to your New Testament, to 2 Corinthians and to chapter 1. 2 Corinthians chapter 1. And we'll begin our scripture reading in verse 3. Blessed be the God and the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, the God of all comforts. For he comforts us in all of our affliction so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any kind of affliction through the comfort we ourselves have received from God. For as the sufferings of Christ have overflowed to us, so our comfort overflows through Christ. If we are afflicted, it is for your comfort and salvation. If we are comforted, it's for your comfort, which is experienced in the endurance of the same sufferings we suffer and our hope for you is firm, because we know that as you share in the sufferings, you will share in comfort. Now, um, I, I, I find these words to be of, of great help. We still live in a fallen world. Uh, I expect you recognize that. We live in a fallen world, and uh, a world that's still under the sting of sin which is death. And so, um, as a pastor, many times I've been at the bedside with grieving families as, as they're hurting, as they're in pain, uh, as they're wrestling with grief, and as they are in need of comfort. Now, comfort comes from Christ, but the comfort that comes from Christ comes through us. We are his ambassadors. And you'll remember Christ talking to us about um, what distinguishes us as his own. And what distinguishes us of his own is, is we respond to people in need, whether it's a cup of water, whether it's a, a, a visit to someone who's sick or in prison, whether it's meeting the needs. And, and here it's, it's grieving with those who grieve. We share uh, in one another's sufferings. You notice the sharing in, in Paul's words as he's writing um, about his own sufferings and that his own sufferings were for their sufferings, but uh, his own comfort, he knew, gave him hope that they were going to receive comfort. Uh, there's a great representation in, in this text of, of how that grief, how that hardship is shared and how the comfort is shared. And so I encourage you this morning, as we consider these words, uh, to understand that you are ambassador of Christ. And a part of your role, we, we use that phrase most often to talk about the sharing of our faith. But here it is the sharing of our comfort. And that comfort comes through our faith, right? So it's, just, it's a comfort we share with our brothers and sisters. It's a comfort we share with our neighbors that are, that are grieving as well. Uh, for we have a great hope. And that hope is in Christ. We have a source of comfort in all of our troubles. And that, that source is Christ. But the comfort is not just for us. But it is for others. And you will, my promise is that you will enjoy the comfort that Christ gives you so much more as you share it. Um, he comforts us, verse 4, in all of our affliction, so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any kind of affliction through the comfort we ourselves have received from God. And so he's describing that, that your life is like a conduit, whereby the love of Christ flows through you, where the grace of God flows through you, where the comfort of the Lord flows through your life. So don't don't hold it in. Be one who comforts others. And then uh, let me 
also say that you, when you comfort others, you need to be in it for the long haul. You need to continue to pray for those that are grieving. Uh, the grief is not done when the funeral is over. It just has begun. And so, brother and sisters, your, your brothers and sisters need you long, long after the death of the loved one. Uh, they need you to continue to pray for them. They need you to remember them. They need you to, to visit with them or encourage them. And so understand that this is a gift that God has given to us, this ministry. And so this morning we were reminded from God's word as his ambassadors uh, that, we, that we share his love as we comfort one another. Would you pray with me this morning? Heavenly Father, we come thanking you for your love and for your grace your comfort. Lord, you have, you have met our need. You have ministered to us in our grief and in our hardship and in our suffering. And Lord, in, in the world we live in, there's so much suffering around us. Father, let us, let your grace flow through us. Let us, uh, let your love not just be in us, but to come from us to those around us. Lord, I pray for my brothers and sisters this morning. I pray that you'd use them for your kingdom work, for your glory, uh, and for the gospel. Bless us with your presence today and with your great comfort. For it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. May God richly bless you in this day, brothers and sisters. Look forward to seeing you soon.